Hey everyone, this is Eliza from Akai Pro. I'm here to help you set up the MPK Mini Mark II with MPC Essentials and the included sound content. We're going to cover downloading, installing, and authorizing your new software, as well as a basic overview of the MPC Essentials layout. All right, let's jump right in. This part's easy, guys. The MPK Mini is a plug and play device and does not require you to install any drivers. All you need to establish a connection is a USB cable and a free port on your computer. All software and included content will be available for download after registering the MPK in your Akai account. Go to akaipro.com and click on sign in at the top right. If you're a new customer, click create an account and fill in the necessary information. Once you're logged in, navigate to your main account page and click on My Registered Products. Enter your MPK's serial number exactly as it appears on the bottom of the unit. Be sure to include the 21 in parentheses as well. The website will automatically recognize your product and upload the software download links and authorization codes. I recommend keeping this page open throughout the process as we'll need to refer back a couple times. After registering your MPK, Scroll down to the software download section. You'll see download links for the Mac and PC operating systems. Click on the installer for your operating system. Once the download completes, click on the file to open it. At this point, you wanna make sure to click Extract All to unzip its contents. Now that the files are extracted, select Update MPC Essentials, Installer Assets, and Install MPC. Follow the prompts to complete the installation process. When the installer completes, you'll be prompted to unlock your software. There's no time like the present, so click Unlock Now. Keep this window open and bring up your Akai account again. Click on Get Me a Serial to reveal the 15-digit code. Copy the entire license and reopen the MPC Essentials Unlock page. Paste this code in the serial number field, enter your contact information, and click Unlock Now. Now that your new DAW is set up, let's install some sound content to play with. The MPK Mini comes with two plugins, Hybrid and Wobble, as well as three MPC expansion packs. Let's start with the expansion packs. Expansion packs are samples that are organized into drum kits. They're formatted specifically for MPC and can be easily loaded to trigger sounds from the MPK's pads. To install an expansion, open your Akai account and scroll to the software download section. Under MPC Essentials Sound Libraries, you'll see Elements of UK Dance, Elements of House, and Elements of Dystopia. For right now, click on Elements of UK Dance to download the installer packet. Once the download completes, click on the file and select Extract All. After the file extracts, click on the Setup application for Windows. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the installation. By default, the expansion will install in the MPC content folder. This will be automatically added to the MPC Essentials browser, but more on that to come. For now, repeat this same process for the elements of house and the elements of dystopia. Feel free to pause the video while the installation is complete. We've already set up MPC Essentials in your sample library, so let's install some plugins. Plugins are virtual instruments that can be played within a DAW. The MPK comes with two plugins, Hybrid and Wobble. To install them, return to your Akai account and click on the Hybrid Installer for Windows. After the download completes, click on the file and select Extract All. Once the file is extracted, click on the Setup application. Follow the prompts, paying special attention to the installation location on this page. We're going to need this pathway later on so take a screenshot if you need. After you've successfully installed Hybrid, go ahead and repeat the same process for Wobble. Unlike MPC Essentials, 
Both Hybrid and Wobble will need to be authorized in iLock License Manager. iLock is a great way to keep your licenses organized and accessible, especially if you're planning to use multiple computers. If you don't have an account already, go to iLock.com and click Create Free Account. Fill in the necessary fields on the setup page. After creating your account, head back to the iLock homepage and download the application installer for your operating system. When your installation completes, open iLock from your programs or application folder and click sign in. Select the Licenses tab and choose Redeem Activation Code. A new window will appear with an entry field for your authorization code. Navigate back to your Akai account page. Highlight and copy the authorization code for Hybrid. Back in iLock, place your cursor in the leftmost box and paste the code. When you're ready, click Next. You'll be prompted to choose a location for the redeemed code. Select your current computer location or an iLock dongle and click Activate. iLock will ask you to confirm the selection once more. Now that your hybrid code is redeemed and activated, go ahead and do the same for Wobble. All right, everyone, we're in the home stretch. Now that your software is authorized, let's launch MPC Essentials. Before you can access your plugins, we'll need to scan them into MPC. This goes for any third-party plugins as well. Click on the Edit menu and select Preferences. Choose the Plugin tab and activate the first field. Click the browser icon at the right to search for Hybrid's installation location. Click on the drop-down menu to navigate through your computer's directory. Double-click each folder to add it to the pathway. Click once on the final folder and press open. The folder location will automatically load to the field. Now let's do the same for Wobble. Activate the second row and click on the browser icon. Double-click each folder in the pathway to add it to the directory. Click once on the final folder and select Open. Now that the plugin locations are selected, we're ready to scan. Click Rescan All. MPC will run through both pathways for Hybrid and Wobble simultaneously. When the scan completes, click OK and exit Preferences. Congratulations, we've successfully completed the setup portion of this process. Now we're ready to make some noise. Go ahead and connect your MPK to an available port on your computer. Hold down the MPK's PROG SELECT button and press pad 6 to load program 2. Program 2 will map the MPK's pads directly to MPC Essentials. After selecting the correct preset, open MIDI preferences and select the MPK as your active MIDI input. Click OK to exit. In the center of your screen, you'll find the sequence area. This section is the structural bones of your project. Think of a sequence as a part of a song, like a verse, chorus, or bridge. You can set the number of bars you want to record, if the pattern should loop, your timing correct for beat quantization, and BPM. Sequences are made of different programs, which can be drum, plugin, MIDI, or key groups. For this video, we're just going to focus on drum and plugin programs. Drum programs consist of samples loaded from MPC expansions and can be triggered using the MPK Mini's pads. Plugin programs host VSTs like Hybrid and Wobble. Expansions are automatically added to the browser during installation. First, make sure that your program type is set to drum. Open the browser by clicking the X icon at the bottom left of the screen. Each expansion pack is represented by a thumbnail image. 
click the thumbnail to view its contents. Let's break this menu down a bit. Programs are pre-made drum kits that will load samples across the 16 pads and MPC essentials. These, in turn, can be triggered from the MPK. Samples are individual WAV files that can be loaded one by one for making custom kits. Sequences are fully programmed song sections, including a drum kit and pre-written MIDI patterns. You can think of it as a kind of demo. To add a sample, program, or sequence to your drum program, click on the file and drag and drop it right into the software. Keep in mind that samples will need to be dropped onto a specific pad. After the first pass, the sequence will switch to overdub so that you can layer different parts. You can also write notes directly in the grid with the pencil icon. This is especially useful for more syncopated rhythms. You can also change out individual samples. Just open the sample folder in your expansion, click and drag the sample directly to the pad that you want to replace. Now that you're a certified beatsmith, let's talk about plugin programs. Back in the sequence area, change the program type to plugin. Click on the plugin field to view the browser. The plugin browser is filed by type, manufacturer, and plugin name. Double click a plugin to load it to your current program. You can change the plugin preset or sound by clicking here or from directly within the GUI. Expand the GUI from the cursive E icon. Plugin GUI allows for a lot of creative control over your sound, so don't be afraid to play around with the parameters. And that's it for today, guys. If you have other questions, make sure to check out the video description section below. We have guides, tutorials, and answers to some common questions. Till next time, happy music making.